All right, for this lesson, we need to do a little more setup for the Photon chat system. In the last lesson, we went over importing the plugin and setting it up with the app ID. For this lesson, I need to show you some general setup for your Photon chat manager script. So to get started, we're going to create the Photon chat manager script and open it up in Visual Studios. Once you have it open, the first thing that we need to do is create a new variable, and this is going to be a chat client. Now you might notice that chat client is not recognized, so I'm going to click on it, hold Alt, and press Enter. And then we're going to select the top option, which will add the namespace using photon.chat up at the top. And I'm going to call it chat client with a lowercase c. We then need to initialize this variable, and we'll do that within the start function. So we'll type chat client equals new chat client, and then we'll pass in this to the parentheses. But you'll notice that this is throwing an error. And so what we need to do is up at the top, where we're inheriting from mono behavior, we need to add a comma, and we'll type ichat client listener. That'll get rid of the error where we are passing in this to the constructor of the chat client, but you'll notice that we're now receiving an error for this iChat client listener. And that's because we have not yet implemented some of the callback functions that are required for this interface. To fix this, all we have to do is click on it, hold Alt, press Enter, and then select the top option. This will add in a bunch of new special callback functions that we will use to implement the Photon chat system. But now what we need to do is make a connection to our photon chat server and we'll do this within the start function where we'll type chat client dot connect this is a special function that requires some parameters the first parameter is our photon chat app ID and you can access this by typing photon network dot photon server settings dot app settings dot app ID chat the second parameter is then your app version which can be accessed with photon network dot app version and the last parameter is the current user's ID or username passed in as a new authentication value. And so you'll type new authentication value and then in parentheses pass in a new variable which you can call username or user ID. We then need to create this variable which will just be a string. And the last thing that we need to do is call a special function in our update function which is client chat dot service. This function maintains our connection to our photon chat server. Now this script at the moment isn't really doing anything except for establishing a connection and maintaining it. But that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson. And remember, to gain access to the source code for this tutorial series, you'll need to become a supporter on our website. Now make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>